Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the Functional Trainer V-Bar Bicep Curl. This is a great exercise for people who are trying to work their biceps, but also people who struggle a little bit with their wrist. So this is a very uh, natural position for your wrist. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up your height all the way down to the bottom, cable height, and then rotation arm. You want to bring that all the way to a 1, that way you're inside the machine as much as possible and not in the middle of the gym. And then you want to choose your appropriate weight. So I recommend you start off nice and light with this exercise and then start to slowly increase the weight every other week or so. So the first thing you're going to want to do, nice, nice and tall stance with your shoulders back. Come to a full extension at the bottom and then come to a full flexion at the top. So by full flexion, I mean just bringing the uh, cable all the way up to like your shoulders. But before we continue, a word from today's video sponsor. Me. I'm today's video sponsor, and if you'd like help losing fat or gaining muscle, there's a few ways I can help you down below. Either set up a free consultation with us, purchase through one of our free affiliate links, or purchase one of our instant access affordable training programs. Can't wait to be of service to you. Now let's get back to the rest of the video. And the next thing I want you to think about is making sure that you're keeping your core tight. That's very, very important because if not, you're going to start tilting forward and back. You obviously want to avoid that. And the only thing that you want moving when you're doing this exercise is just your forearms, basically. So your elbows, I don't want you moving the elbows too far forward or back. Just keep it right at your sides and tucked in at your sides. So notice my elbows are not flaring out here. They're as tight as I can have them uh, along my body, like right on the sides of my body. That way I can focus mainly on just making sure that I'm flexing my biceps at the top. Another key thing that I like to do personally is flexing my triceps at the bottom. And what that does is it ensures that I'm coming into a full extension and a full stretch of the bicep. Because the tricep is basically the opposite muscle of the bicep, uh, or it has a different function for the elbow. Next thing I want you guys to do is make sure that you're keeping your tempo nice and smooth. So notice that I'm not using momentum in order to get the weight up. I'm not like leaning forward, pushing my hips back and forward to try to use some momentum to get that weight up. I want you to avoid that because that's just going to get you uh, more likely to get injured. So avoid that at all costs. Just move your arms. If you're working your arms, just try to really focus on not using any other body part. And after a while, it's obviously going to become muscle memory, and then it's not going to be so hard for you to do this. It'll just come naturally. The next thing I want you to do is make sure that you're keeping your chin nice and tucked. That's why you see me standing straight up. Chin tucked. Meaning, like, don't look up or excessively down. And just make sure that you're looking nice and straight. Here's some common mistakes. Half reps. You don't want to do half reps at the bottom or at the top of the range. So I, vo I would avoid just doing the, that 20, 20, 21 thing. So you're doing seven at the bottom, seven in the middle, seven on top. Just avoid that at all costs. And if, you, and if you haven't ever heard of that, perfect. Don't do it. Next thing, like I said, don't use momentum in order to move the weight. So don't push your hips forward and back. Also, make sure that your elbow position doesn't change. So you notice my elbows are moving forward and then they're coming back to my sides. Forward and then coming back to my sides. You want to avoid that. Keep it at your sides the whole time and don't move it forward. So you need to most likely lighten the weight. Hope that's helpful, guys. See you in the next one.